Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Why am I here? I always come to my channel when I feel like that I need to talk about something, or if I find that the problem gets so, or a situation gets to the point where it's almost like in life that I feel suffocated, um, then I come to my channel. I often feel better afterwards. Sometimes I don't, but sometimes it certainly helps. Sometimes I get amazing comments. I get a lot of amazing comments anyway, but one or two just really, really hit on that sort of that nerve or that problem or that or that issue which is happening. And I'm eternally grateful for that. What's happening right now? So I lost my nan. We are coming up to eight weeks. And I know eight weeks is absolutely no time at all when someone means so much to you, which my nan is my world. I am very, very lost at the moment. Um, it is my mum's mum, and I'm very, very close with my mum, um, and I talk about her lots. But sometimes I feel it gets to the stage where I have to, of course, be very careful because it's her mum. So it's really, really, in a way, I find I get to the point where I think, okay, I now need to sort of step back and almost be, and almost let my mum breathe. And this is why I'm here to talk and to hopefully get things into perspective. Because of course this is not going away. I wouldn't want it to, man. That meant the world to me. And even just saying that, I feel so empty. So do you know what? I really don't know the emotions to put to, to words. Really, I really don't. I get moments where I smile and I feel guilty. I get moments where if I go to do something, I feel immensely sad, like life was over. I was extremely close to my nan. I've recently turned 28 and from birth, my nan was always there, always there. Right from when I had my first operation to very recent of days of holding my hand talking to her about old times and trying to help my nan look after my nan. She had Alzheimer's, which of course is a very, very sad illness or almost like a cloud growing over that person. But my nan was immensely strong. Her determination was almost frightening how far my nan would go in life. I honestly, genuinely never ever thought that, or even thought about the day my nan would leave this earth. Never. She was so strong. And yes, she had Alzheimer's, but do you know what? My nan fought it all the way. She really, really did. And as the cloud of her illness grew over her, in a way, so did her determination. Almost like, that. you know what? No, you're not going to get the better of me at all. And the fight in that sort of, that strength and that willpower will all, I'll always be in awe of that. It's, it's, a huge inspiration to ever, to everyone and to everything, um, and certainly to me. Um, it really, it really, really is. My nan was in her nineties. My nan was ninety-five. She was several days short of her ninety-fifth birthday. So in my heart, she got to ninety-five. Um, and you know what? I had a day today where. And I'll be honest, I'm not coping. I am not coping. Um, I put on a front sometimes. I, I I act as though I'm okay. I think the people around me know. My mum knows anyway. She knows everything about me. My mum's my, my, my mum is my best friend, and um, she knows everything about me. And I know my my I'm very close with my parents, and I know. Um, I think my mum and my dad both know. I'm very close with them. They're almost like very good friends to me. Um, which of course your parents should be, shouldn't they? Um, and my nan was too, so they know how I'm, where I am with all of this, and I think everybody in my family is pretty similar at the moment, it's still only almost like it was yesterday, it happened, and we lost my nan in a very, very tragic way, which I don't think I'm going to go into on this clip, but I find that very, very difficult to deal with. Um, so today I woke up and I thought, rather than hanging over my mum and talking and talking and talking, which I know she is always there for me for that, but sometimes I'm trying to think of her, of course. I think of her all the time, but I'm trying to think 
I need to sort of contain me a little bit, because of course she's going through this, and even more, it was my grandmother, but it was her mum. Or it is her mum, it is, it is, she is my nan, that's what I keep telling myself, this isn't, do you know, when my nan passed away, and when I seen her in the Chapel of Rest, I said to my nan, this isn't the end, we just won't be able to hold hands for now. And I keep trying to tell myself that I really do. And I've even asked questions and things online, and and I've spoken to so many of my relatives, and um, so uncles, aunt, um, even my father's um, mum, my, my other grandmother, and, um, and my brothers and their partners, and in all sorts. But you know, all the words in the world don't change how I'm feeling right now. I really don't. And um, I woke up this morning and I probably felt the lowest I've ever really felt. And I am an absolute avid believer in that nobody has promised a tomorrow. And of course, that was true for my for my nan. And that things happen so quickly and so spare at the moment. So life is truly a blessing. And being that nobody is promised a tomorrow, if you are blessed with another day, then grab it with both hands. And I try to live that ethos all the time. I try to. It's just I woke up this morning and I thought to myself, do you know what, it was almost like that I could not breathe. And whether or not I'm starting to have a bit of panic attacks and things with this, is this grief? I don't, of course it is. Of course it is. It's the loss of, of my of my nan. And it's my nan. I've been blessed in this life, I always said, my parents. I have an incredible, incredible mum. And my nan is like a second mum to me. So in this life, I've, I've certainly been blessed. And um, I woke up this morning and I thought, and I keep thinking to myself, because I don't sleep very well at all, if anything, at nights at times. Um, and I wake up a lot throughout the night and I think of all these things. And if I do something or if it's wrong in my own head or if I think to myself, all, all these things. And it's, and it's sort of like this morning. I thought, I've got to get out, I've got to go for a walk, and um, I'm recovering from um, pretty extensive surgery recently, so that's all very, very new to me as well, walking around and things with my groin, I've had groin reconstruction surgery, so it's good to me to get out and do that anyway, and as I was walking around, do you know what, all I could see was the places where I would be, I, I had been with my nan, and sometimes it would bring a smile, and sometimes it would make me almost chuckle, but ultimately, it, it just gave me immense sadness to think that that's... And, I know, and I'm, this is going to sound wrong, isn't it, that it's gone, because it's not gone. Because as as people say, it's always in your heart, and of course it is, and that's where my name is. But it's just... And I know this is going to be difficult, and it's and it's and and I ultimately hold my hands up and say that I am not coping with it very well at all at the moment. Um... I do try to put a bit of a front on, and perhaps I shouldn't at times, but, um, oh, honestly. And I say to myself, honestly, if I could have just five more minutes with her, but then even that's a lie, isn't it? Because I probably wouldn't allow her to go back through the door. Thinking I was in a room, and I think of this often at night, I'm in a room, and... I'm sat in a lounge, and there's a door, and my nan comes back through the door for five minutes. But can you imagine, I wouldn't let her go back through, would I? But, I think we all wish those things, don't we? My faith brings a lot of, I say comfort, it brings clarity to me, sometimes comfort. I pray every night, I pray for my nan, every night and for my family. And it comforts me that she's with the rest of our family in, in, in heaven. It really does, and her brothers and her sisters. Um, but wow, yeah, what a, what a darkness I feel in it at the moment. And I'm not one to really say that, I have to admit, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't sort of say this and share this with... I don't think I would share this with my mum, because I, she knows anyway. But how can you when someone's going through it, even worse than me? My mum is, of course, because my mum and her were like my mum and them are like sisters, mother and daughter, yes, but sisters, best friends, like me and mum. But 
And I really thought that getting out and having a walk with fresh air and things would really, really help. And I even asked some questions, actually, on, is it Cura? Cura? Um, one person even started to get a little bit sort of direct with me, and I thought, I really didn't think that they actually understood what I meant, so I, so I kind of left it, because, of course, every, every person's journey, when they lose somebody, is very, very personal. What I'm left thinking and feeling now is, what now? What, what happens now? Right now, it feels that life is over, and I know it's not, and and I owe it to my nan to carry on and and to do all wonderful things and to have a fulfilling life in that to show her. And I know somebody answered my question actually recently, um, a question which I put on there, um, on again on I think it's Cura, um, and I said that something along the lines of that I've lost my nan. It feels that my life is over with a few other sort of snippets of information in there, and um, some amazing, amazing, gracious person put on there, um, what would your nan say if she was sat right next to you? And you know, I think that, I really, honestly, I really do, I do think that, I really do, but then, my nan always said to me, you mean the world to me, love, and all, my, you mean the world to me, my love, and although I may never see you grow up, I'll always be with you and I'll always be looking down on you. And I truly do believe that. And I always said that when I was when I was younger, in my teenage years. But my nan seen me to the age of nearly nearly twenty-eight. My nan passed away before I turned twenty-eight, so to twenty-seven. And I mean some people, bless them, don't have their parents even for that long, do they? And there's people younger than me who have lost their lives as well. So that I see I see all of this me moving forward in every step and every day as a privilege of life because of so many awful things which have happened to people throughout the COVID pandemic and of course just generally in life as well. But right now I'm just in darkness, I feel, and I'm in gloom. And you know, I probably think that I know that that's normal. Someone will tell me that that's normal. When you've lost someone, what means so much to you. Um, but this is just me sharing that this is a bad day and me sort of opening up. And in a way, it's almost like that I've, I've got that. So here I am talking. Here's a picture of me and my nan. And I'm sort of looking at her and I'm sort of thinking that I'm sharing this with her and I'm talking and I'm getting this sort of off my chest and I'm breathing. And um, it does help. It really helps. So a YouTube channel can be for many, many things. But for me, yes, it's for different interests and things which I enjoy doing as well. But it's also helping in those real dark moments as well. And this is what one of those are. Yeah, I... Right now, I'm truly, truly heartbroken. I really am broken. And I am finding things very, very difficult. I really am. Would I say that to many people? No. I wonder if they'll watch this and find out. They probably already know. But for you sat there watching this and listening to this, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And just a huge thank you. Just a huge thank you for listening and being there. Until next time, I promise to be a little bit more smiley. I promise to bring more to the channel because it's something I enjoy. And I know I have a lot of amazing subscribers now. And thank you very much for that and for all my views. So on that note, just thanks for listening. Okay, so until next time, I will see them. Bye for now.